Imagine, if you will, the year is 1163, and the first stone of what would become an iconic symbol of Paris and a masterpiece of Gothic architecture is being laid. The air is thick with anticipation, the crowd is silent, and the Bishop of Paris, Maurice de Sully, oversees the ceremony. This is the birth of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Over the next two centuries, the cathedral would rise from the ground, shaped by the hands of countless craftsmen, stonemasons, carpenters, and glassmakers, each individual contributing their skill, their artistry, their very soul to create something truly extraordinary. A structure that would not only dominate the Parisian skyline, but also capture the imagination of the world. Situated on the Ile de la Cité, the heart of Paris, the cathedral was more than a place of worship. It was a symbol of the city's spirit, its resilience, its enduring beauty. It was a testament to the ingenuity of its architects, who dared to reach for the heavens, to defy the limitations of their time, and create a structure of such grandeur and elegance that it would echo through the ages. The cathedral's architectural innovations were many, but perhaps none so iconic as its flying buttresses. These arched supports allowed the builders to construct higher walls, to fill the cathedral with light, to create a space that was as much a celestial spectacle as it was a house of God. The gargoyles too were a marvel, intricately carved creatures perched high above the city, serving both as decorative elements and functional water spouts. And let's not forget the cathedral's role as a silent witness to history. From the crowning of kings to the turbulence of revolutions, Notre Dame stood resilient, a beacon of faith amidst the ever-changing tide of time. For centuries, the Notre Dame Cathedral stood as a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring power of faith. Its stone walls, its soaring arches, its delicate stained glass windows, all whispering stories of a past filled with both triumph and tragedy. A past that is deeply interwoven with the heart and soul of Paris. Fast forward to April 15th, 2019. A day that would be etched in the annals of history for a tragic reason. It was a typical Monday evening in Paris when the first alarm of fire at the Notre Dame Cathedral sounded at approximately 6.30. However, no fire was visible, and it took a second alarm 23 minutes later for the blaze to be discovered. By then, it was too late. The fire had taken hold in the cathedral's attic, beneath the iconic lead-covered wooden roof. As the reality of the situation dawned, firefighters sprung into action. The Paris Fire Brigade, known for their bravery and resilience, faced a Herculean task. They fought the flames from the inside, trying to prevent the fire from reaching the cathedral's towers, which, if affected, could have resulted in a total collapse. The fire was relentless, and despite the valiant efforts of the firefighters, the sight of the cathedral's spire succumbing to the flames was a heart-wrenching moment broadcast live to millions worldwide. The spire, a symbol of Paris and a beacon of faith, was reduced to ashes and embers. The world watched in disbelief as centuries of history, art and architecture were engulfed by the flames. Social media was flooded with messages of shock and sorrow from people of all walks of life. World leaders expressed their grief and solidarity with France in this dark hour. The fire at Notre Dame was not just a French tragedy, but a global one, reminding us all of the fragility of our shared cultural heritage. As the fire finally was brought under control, the extent of the damage was laid bare. The cathedral's roof, known as the forest because of the many ancient oak trees used in its construction, had completely collapsed. What had once been a marvel of medieval architecture was now a skeleton of charred timber and molten lead. Within a matter of hours, the forest, as the cathedral's timber roof was affectionately known, was no more. In the wake of the disaster, a collective gasp echoed around the globe. As the flames subsided, the vision of the Notre Dame Cathedral, a symbol of Paris and a beacon of hope for centuries, was forever altered. The once majestic spire lay in ruins, the roof had collapsed, and centuries of history seemed to have been lost in the inferno. The aftermath of the fire was a stark testament to the destructive power of the flames. The cathedral's iconic lead-covered wooden roof, affectionately termed the forest, due to its composition of ancient trees, was completely obliterated. The central spire, 
a feature that had graced Paris's skyline for hundreds of years, had crumbled into the heart of the cathedral. Inside, the high altar was buried under the rubble and priceless artifacts were feared lost. Yet, amid the devastation, there were glimmers of resilience. Crucial steps were taken immediately to stabilize what was left of the structure. Skilled workers swiftly erected wooden supports to prevent further collapse. The cathedral's three rose windows, masterpieces of medieval stained glass, had miraculously survived the blaze. And most importantly, many of the cathedral's relics and art pieces were saved due to the heroic efforts of first responders and cathedral staff. But it was the world's response that truly reflected the global significance of Notre Dame. Within hours of the fire, pledges of financial aid poured in from every corner of the world. Countries, corporations and individuals alike pledged hundreds of millions of euros, all with a shared goal, to restore the cathedral to its former glory. From the ashes of this tragedy, the world was reminded of the collective power of human spirit. The Notre Dame fire served as a poignant reminder of our shared history and our capacity to unite in the face of adversity. In the end, the fire did not signify the end for Notre Dame, but rather a new chapter in its long and storied history. From tragedy emerged a beacon of hope, a united determination to restore Notre Dame to its former glory. The task before us is daunting, but not insurmountable. After all, the Notre Dame has withstood the test of time before. In the wake of the devastating fire, a global effort has been set into motion to restore the beloved Notre Dame Cathedral to its former glory. Teams of architects, historians and artisans from all corners of the world have come together for this monumental task. It's a testament to the cathedral's enduring legacy and the universal love and respect it commands. The restoration process is not a race, but a marathon. Every stone, every wooden beam, and every piece of stained glass is being meticulously assessed and treated. The objective is not just to rebuild, but to preserve as much of the original structure and artwork as possible. This painstaking process is a delicate dance between honoring the past and embracing the future. The challenges faced by the restorers are manifold. The fire not only destroyed the cathedral's roof and caused the spire to collapse, but it also severely weakened the overall structure. The restorers have to reinforce the edifice even before they can start the actual restoration work. In addition, the cathedral's intricate artworks and stained glass windows have been damaged by the fire and the subsequent firefighting efforts. These cannot simply be replaced. Instead, they need to be carefully restored, a process that requires a deep understanding of historical art techniques and materials. Yet despite these challenges, the restoration effort is making steady progress. Every day brings new discoveries and small victories. Pieces of the original structure that were thought to be lost forever are being painstakingly restored. In the face of adversity, the spirit of resilience and unity shines through. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our collective love for history and art. As we bear witness to this remarkable endeavor, we are reminded of the words of Victor Hugo, who once wrote, Great edifices like great mountains are the work of centuries. Day by day, piece by piece, Notre Dame is slowly but surely rising from the ashes. As we look towards the future, the silhouette of Notre Dame may be forever changed, but its spirit remains unbroken. This iconic symbol of France, standing tall and proud through the ages, is now on a journey of revival. In the wake of the devastating fire, plans are underway for its restoration and reopening. Architects, historians and artisans from around the globe are collaborating, meticulously piecing together fragments of the past to breathe life back into this architectural masterpiece. The future of Notre Dame is not just about the bricks and mortar, the woodwork or the stained glass. It's about preserving a piece of our shared cultural heritage. This monumental task serves as a stark reminder of how crucial it is to safeguard these invaluable treasures. Each archway, each carving, each stained glass window tells a story that transcends time and place. These are not just elements of a historic structure, they're threads that weave the rich tapestry of our human history. There's a newfound appreciation, a renewed respect for these architectural marvels. The fire has, in a way, sparked a global conversation on the importance of preserving our cultural heritage. 
People are now more aware, more invested in ensuring that these testaments to our past survive for future generations to marvel at, to learn from, and to draw inspiration. The anticipated reopening of Notre Dame is not just a milestone for France, but a triumph for humanity. The restoration of this iconic cathedral is a testament to our resilience, our unity in the face of adversity. It symbolizes our collective commitment to preserving our shared heritage, our unwavering resolve to stand strong, and our enduring hope for the future. The Notre Dame Cathedral, a symbol of resilience and hope, continues to inspire awe and wonder, reminding us of the impermanence of our creations, yet the enduring power of our collective spirit.